What's up, everybody? Welcome to the weekend reading. We're going to start with Aries like we do. Ten seconds. What's going on, Aries, this weekend? Who's coming to work, Aries? I feel like y'all real low-key this weekend, out the way of the mess. Good job. Could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio that's coming your way. What business person want? Okay. <laughs> Advice. Oh, all cups. Many of you are dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person wants the ten of cups with you. Um, this could be somebody who. Let me see. <laughs> Some of you about his favorite cups. Somebody, this could be somebody that you were friends with because they were willing to be in a relationship that wasn't making them happy. And now they want to move on to you, okay? And they want to put their foot down <laughs> about being involved with you. This is this is somebody who could have been in another relationship, right? But they realized, maybe you helped them to realize something. Like, wanting to be better. You know, you two could have started off friends, and they were involved with somebody. And they were suffering in that relationship. And now what they want with you is to move forward with you, move towards you, maybe start dating you. Um, this could be somebody who's falling more in love with themselves. Yeah, they realize that they want to give their love to you, okay? All them unspoken feelings that friends on and shit they were trying to do before. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's a ten of cups. What they want? With you is a ten of cups. Something could be happening in October. Oh, no. So this might have pissed you off. Okay. What they want is okay, you know. But is it real? You know, are they just coming back to get your damn attention? Yeah, don't wait for this person, Aries. I'm done with it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They don't want nothing. <laughs> they just have no feelings this weekend. Watch this Mercury retrograde, honey. You deserve real love. They want to give this relationship a chance, but this ain't the one. I don't know if this is the one that's coming this weekend. I don't know. Cause it said it's like they dangling something over your head, and that's that's what we're not gonna do. That's the shit I don't like. Taurus. I'm not making too much noise on this table, but just bear with me. What's going on with Taurus? What time Taurus start? Okay, we're going to start it here. Ah, I don't like not being at home doing my readings. It feels weird. Try to make this comfortable though, because I'm going on tour next next month, and it is what it is. So, um, who is this person for Taurus? Who's coming towards Taurus this weekend? Ace of Pentacles. What do they want? Ooh, advice. Hmm. Don't mess with people at your job, Taurus. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, let's see. Don't shit where you eat, dog. Anyway. Who this person is, the Ace of Pentacles. Could be another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Could also be a Cancer that you're dealing with. But somebody... Somebody's not going to wait too long.
This could be somebody who wants to offer you something or vice versa. You want to offer them something, but somebody's lacking patience. And they may be regressing back to at least keeping their eye on another option here. They don't want things to end between the two of you. That's not that. But I feel like they, they end up feeling insecure. Maybe like one of you may have too many responsibilities to properly engage in this. It's like I don't want it to end, but I don't know if you got time for me or something like that. It could be that you two don't have time for each other. Okay. That's not what I was supposed to be playing find the cards with, though, was it? <laughs> Oh, man. This could be a gaslighter, honey. No, it's your fault. Because they're incapable of seeing things from your side. Make sure that you're not forgetting about you, Taurus. What this person wants from you, they feel disconnected. Aries or a Capricorn are you dealing with? That's what I was thinking. It's like, I don't want to lose this, but somebody's not saying what they want here. Somebody's not really like, hello, putting a stamp on it or something. And somebody's not even saying anything about it. They're like, it's almost like, you know how a person is like, yeah, you the one I want, and woo, right? And you're like, okay. So, 10 of the people told me they wanted me today. What do you want? That could be you. Or the other person who's it's like, but what the hell do you want with me? Because otherwise, baby, the clock is ticking. What? I feel like somebody's kind of losing patience um, because somebody's not being intentional with whatever this offer is. So what they want is to not be confused. Okay. The advice is the three of pentacles. And if this person didn't say anything back to you, or if you didn't say anything back to them when they offered this to you, your silence or their silence, how can I say this? It's almost like if you ask me out and you don't say what you want, or if you say you like me, you don't say necessarily what you want with me, and I don't respond because you haven't given me shit to respond to. My silence does not equal compliance. Does that make sense? Advice. Just trust yourself with this situation. There's something here that you may not think is going to work, but... Some people really do change. We got Aries energy here again. Somebody, I told you stop messing with people at work. Somebody's going to run out of patience with that. Um, I don't know who's being slow here. If you're dealing with the Aries, then they being fast, you being slow to her. That's just how they go. But um, somebody needs to know what the hell is going on. How do I need to move in this situation? And do I need to move away from it? All right, we're going to move on to <laughs> Let me put my phone up. My computer is about to die. Hold on, y'all. Y'all, excuse my bed. Everything in here is janky. It's a nice room, though. It's a nice hotel. They put us in. Singing with the um, 
Michael Jackson orchestra something 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 I know I'd be like all over the place and that people like where you at this weekend girl somewhere I don't know girl I'm making money just like everybody else so Gemini starts at 20 minutes what's going on with Gemini coming towards you. What do they want? And nice. Oh, Major Arcana. Could be Aquarius coming towards you this weekend. Oh, damn. Let's start. Gemini. This is somebody that you were very nice to. This is somebody that you you did a lot for this person or you really tried with this person but now it's time to go because they don't treat you right or anybody else is what this looks like nobody has permission to take your power Gemini they're not single anyway why do I keep having to come for you Gemini stop falling in love with emotionally unavailable people I feel like many of you fell in love with somebody who has Aquarius in their chart you have more control in this situation than you realize Gemini what this person wants. Could be a Sagittarius. This person ain't got no patience. Yes, indeed. Like I said, very impulsive. Trying to be lit, uh, trying to be big. It's like they want to be bigger than they are. But they're not ready for that. It could be somebody who um Oh, I ain't finna wait on you. I don't know if that's them or you, but don't let, don't let, don't let yourself become somebody's last resort, okay? Please, don't let somebody, don't let yourself become somebody's last resort. I feel like this is somebody that um maybe. It would never get off the ground. Something would never get off the ground here. They're not a bad person. Just It's time to accept whatever it is about this person, Gemini. It really is. It's not going nowhere. I don't see it. This is the same person. So, um, this person is a... Re this person... Oh, my God. This could have been somebody who's... This person still focused very heavily on something in the past. Do not let this person put you on a shelf until they feel like bringing you back off the shelf for a minute. This is somebody that needs to heal. You're not listening to your intuition about them. They are dating other people. Sorry, Gemini. You have to free yourself from this person, Gemini. Like, it is a real thing. I feel like if you open yourself up to something else, it's like, it's something else out here for you. But you got to open yourself up to it. Your love life could be moving in a whole nother direction if you just let go of this particular situation. Or whatever it is. Don't have to be your love life. Take it how it resonates. We're going to move on to Cancer. It's coming towards cancer this weekend. What does this person want? Advice for cancer. <laughs> you can have several people that don't want things to end with you. <laughs> it's all that good loving and and I ain't just talking about the sex. And I am talking about the sex. <laughs> a lot of people don't get to experience um, the kind of love that cancers can provide for people. A lot of people don't get to experience that. And when they do, they're like, just happened to me. <sighs> Could be a Taurus in your life. A May Taurus. Hmm. Ooh. 
Read the room on the Taurus. What's that here? Oh! Oh! What? As soon as I said, okay, May. Okay, May, Taurus energy could be a Gemini as well, Cusper, whatever. And then we got your subconscious doesn't know the difference between the real and imaginary. Read the room and run from this freaking douchebag. And then Taurus hit the deck. You're better off without them. People will go to great lengths to protect their fantasy that they've created with you. But this is also somebody who's very prone to betrayal. Taurus was going to be a good thing for y'all. Ugh. Well, what they want is to get together with you, girl. Boy. They want to see you. They want to work with you. Whatever. But they rebounding. They rebounding. Okay, this is blending in with the Gemini reading. So some of it, some for some people, Gemini was the bad person. But there's definitely a freaked up person that Gemini's been dealing with. Um, but this person is rebounding. Could be from a Gemini. If you've been feeling like something was off. And it's close. Okay, whatever that all feeling is, it's close. But you're gonna bounce back, honey. Be careful um what you're allowing yourself to feel. Make sure you put your foot down in a situation that don't feel right. Don't some of y'all just need to date. Like if somebody you're not listening to your intuition about. Who is that person? Let's see who it is. Oh, seven of swords in the reverse could be an Aquarius. There's a there, somebody got somebody else, honey, and you need to stop putting your your good loving and energy into this person. Ooh, Capricorn energy could be another. Hmm. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. Some, some, for some of you, it's a Taurus. Or this Taurus could be rebounding. But... Um, maybe time to end that. Maybe time to end that. Cancer. Advice. Know, somebody was cheating. Is there a Libra involved in this story? Listen, listen to it. Listen to that. So listen to that voice inside of you, my love. There's been a lot of questionable behavior, and the more you push this person away, the more they're gonna want to um, come towards you. Um, somebody invited somebody into the situation with y'all who were not invited. You didn't invite them. Leo. I can't show for these cards today. Who's coming towards Leo? Oh, what they want. Oh, advice. <laughs> Five of Swords, honey. Could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with too. Somebody could be um, meditating, you know, really evaluating the, the the bullshit that has made them miss out on a whole lot of good opportunities. Possibly with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Virgo energy here, but Aries, Leo, fire strong. Somebody seeing clearly now why they lost someone. Like it's it's clear as day why things are not what they're supposed to be between the two of y'all. Okay. 
what this person wants. Hmm. I don't think they want anything. This is somebody who's very independent. This is somebody who realizes that loving someone and relying on them are very two different things. They can have a very high, they can have high standards. This is somebody who believes what they believe and that's it. Could be Aries. Aries sitting at the top of the deck. Let's see advice for Leo. The thing about it is, so somebody here was real, it's, um, okay, there it is. Somebody here, like I said, is realizing why relationships haven't worked. It could be you, Leo, who's looking back and saying, mm, that's what it was. You know, I, don't know. I probably knew that was going to happen. Whatever, right? So now it could be the person that you want or whatever, you know, they, they don't want commitment at this point. It's like, I don't see them wanting to, there could be something new going on in this person's life already. But, um, the advice here is to, if this is something that you want, Leo, you need to jump on it because somebody here is running out of patience and they may feel like, it could be a cancer, they may feel like, um, you know, it feels forced at this point. This is somebody whose heart connects through sex. Okay. Probably y'all are probably not having sex right now. If you don't want this to end, Leo, don't let it end. Okay. You have a very powerful energy about you. Okay, you can be very persuasive. Okay, that's why half of my personal readings are about male Leos. Just saying. Just saying, honey. Y'all be having folks stress the hell out, okay? But it's because there's something so wonderful about you that attracts people. So whatever it is, that this thing that you really do want, you realize why you don't have it at this point. Do something about it. Be so confident, right? <laughs> Gonna be that confident fire sign that has people writing, writing in to me saying, Why Leo don't love me? <laughs> Be that person and go get what it is that you actually want. Virgo. So, who's coming to Virgo this weekend? Who's coming towards you? What do they want? What's the advice? Could be a Gemini coming towards you. This is somebody um, you've been vulnerable with. Okay. Could be somebody you worked with. But somebody's stressed because they're very unhappy about something. What is this? Could be about a third party that came in between the two of you. Somebody feels taken for granted. Leo. Ooh, Virgo. Who is this? Leo. Be sure that you're putting your trust in a higher power. I don't know why that's significant, but it's got to be higher than just your average. <laughs> Whatever it is that you believe in. And I feel like that's what's going to help you to be able to deal with these things that come up with courage. Okay. I don't know who that's for. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I feel like once you put your trust in God, this could have something to do with work. Um, or this could have something to do with um, a love interest, a friend, whatever. Okay, that's what it is. You may have found out that somebody you're connected to is connecting with somebody else. And 
Somebody feels taken for granted because of that. What this person wants. Like they want nothing, but I feel like they feel bad. They and they may be like very hesitant to come towards you. Somebody's like burdened by this. Oh, was it you that cheated? I don't know. Somebody did something wrong here. Yeah, they're not looking to date or be in a relationship. It could be a Gemini. Somebody has not forgiven you yet. So was it you? Ah, oh, somebody's like. Bitches come and go. You know what it gives me? Well, here you go again. You say you want your freedom. Well, who am I to keep you down? What is it? Thunder only happens when it's raining. Players only love you when they're playing. These women, they will come and they will go. Somebody's like, you had a real one. What are you doing? But somebody's like now not looking to be in a relationship anymore. They're hesitant because they found out about something. So the advice is the page of wands. I don't know if this person needs you any good. I don't know why this feels so crossed. I don't know if this is for you, Virgo, or for the cross watcher. So y'all tell me. Uh, we have April here. Failure to launch. Something just wouldn't get off the ground because somebody don't want to be in a relationship and somebody anymore because of somebody inviting extra into this relationship that shouldn't have been there. All right. Libra. What's going on, Libra? It's coming towards Libra. What do they want? And advice. I just heard move on. Ah, what is this person? Who is this person for Libra? It could be a Scorpio. Ooh, somebody. This could be somebody you stop putting time in with, okay? Because they was juggling and they was selfish. <laughs> Ooh, and they could have been a fire sign involved. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is the queen? Who has the Queen of Wands here? Five of Swords. Okay. Ooh, some of y'all dealing with a Scorpio. And I'm standing between these two queens. There's two queens here, honey. Aries energy is here, so it came to the light, honey. It's kind of cool. I feel like somebody got hurt because somebody was still holding. I feel like there was a betrayal here because somebody didn't know about somebody else. Okay. So this is somebody that you're like, no, you're turning this person down. What happened? Let's see. What they want is another shot. Because they're like. Why are you in, why are you not giving me your best no more? This could be somebody who was very nice to you, or you were very nice to this person, but what does nice mean? If you want to know how this person feels about you, think about what it is that you've shown them. Or vice versa, that could be for the cross watcher. Be, you could be dealing with somebody who's very talented, or you could be the talented one. Looks like they play hard to get, but they want it. But there's something here that you feel like you know. What does that card mean? Oh, could be about a Taurus, honey. It's something that you feel like you know, and it's got you guarded, and you don't need no proof. You're just going to stop worrying about it. Scorpio energy here again. There, this person has a choice, and you're not viewing yourself as an option. You like ain't no other option but me. 
or you're seeing clearly now that some, something that happened, okay, that put you in a space where you need to heal from this situation. What they want. They want to put you in some damn drama. Okay. Ooh. This is somebody who... Um... Okay, we got Leo energy really strong here. We got Gemini. We have your energy in Taurus. Some magician. <clears throat> they don't know how to make things work with you, Libra. But they want to, but they don't have a, a very long attention span. So this could be somebody who um, ends up having you in some mess. It feels like drama. Okay, uh, Libra. So your advice is the will of fortune. Oh, you gut, honey. You know something's not right with this situation. You've been thinking about it too much. Anything you got to think about too much is a no. What does this say for Libra? Let's see y'all need to know. That's what I'm telling you. Somebody deal with Scorpio. We got Leo, Capricorn, energy hit the deck. You tell this person. Oh, you have been trying to impress somebody that you cannot believe. I'm not saying you've been trying to impress them, but you've been entertaining an idea of something. Or maybe like maybe even you put your best foot forward at one point. Maybe you was trying to get this person, but your presence is not required. You may still love them. But if they're not giving you what it is that you need and you cannot believe what you hear from this person, then it's time to find, find a good and goodbye with this person, okay? Your presence ain't required in nobody's life. Scorpio. I sure wish I knew what all these damn secrets that's supposed to be coming out. <laughs> I've been feeling something brewing between what's been between Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Actually, it's been, yeah, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Scorpio. It's been like some extra secret or something. So for Scorpio, who's coming? What do they want? Advice. Could be a Leo in your life too. Somebody wanting your attention, Ace of Cups, all of that. Because they feel like they missed out on you the first time by staying to keeping quiet or keeping secrets. I'm not gonna wait this time. Well, whatever was holding this person back could be out of the way at this point, Scorpio. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. And I feel like this may be the one that you're waiting on. So was it you, Scorpio? I feel like you think that you would get victory with this person if you were to um, be in a relationship with them or move, whatever it is that you're looking at. But I feel like there's still questions in your mind of what was done wrong here. <laughs> this page is looking at the temperance card like, why are you so peaceful over there? Didn't you do me wrong? <laughs> Let that shit go. If this is, um, yeah, don't put no more energy into whatever happened in the past. Let's see what else you need to know. They want the page of wands, but it's 
Somebody still got somebody else though. Kind of hanging in the balance. They still this, or there's still somebody who's very still, very much still hung up on your person. Okay, in a big way. It's like they want to start something with you, but this person might be quick to jump on to something else too. You know what I mean? It's like they get tunnel vision on you. They can they can be shy, but they got bold actions. Um, but there's a, there's an elephant in the room. Okay, and I feel like the elephant is. <laughs> it could be a Capricorn. Okay, it could be a Capricorn. It could be another fire sign in this person's life. Between the two of you guys. Y'all are not on the same frequency right now. I'm telling you, somebody's dating. Somebody might be looking for stability and not love right now. So it's like, I want you, but I'm not really, um, I'm not committing to this right now. Um, might be, they may be un, uh, unavailable. So it's kind of like they end up dangling something over your head. But don't fall for that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. There's somebody here who may not only be looking for stability over love, but they may also, um, they're not single. They may not be in a relationship, but they're not alone. I saw this video um the other day. Y'all might have saw it too. The guy was like, men men like to be alone, but they don't like to be by themselves. <laughs> I was like, that is the most accurate thing that I don't think that don't make no damn sense that I've ever heard. Your intuition, I mean, not your intuition, but your advice is the Queen of Cups. And what came right out, what came out right next to that was the King of Cups. Aries at the bottom of the deck, and Emperor at the bottom of the deck. What is it about? Patience. I said something like that. Let that, let that go. Whatever that is, that making you like. Somebody's hands, whoever need to let it go, their hands ain't clean either. Okay. Somebody's hands ain't clean either. And I'm going to leave it at that. But as far as you and whoever this person is, this king and this queen who still love each other, y'all be patient with each other. Because ain't either one of your hands clean. That's what I'm picking up. I don't know. It ain't got to be your story. We're going to move on to stage. What time is it? 30. Sagittarius. What's going on with y'all? Some of you could be traveling. What's going on with Sag? Who? What? No, that's not what I'm going to do. Sagittarius. Who's this person? What do they want? And advice. That's a completely different story. So I feel like it's somebody you're definitely in a connection with. It's singing outside, y'all. We got love around all of this chaos. Uh, I'm going to call you Capricorn. Uh, Sagittarius. There's too many people fighting for it, huh? 
You feel like you gotta stand stand up for yourself, and this you could be talking to somebody who's very popular or something like that. All right, let's see if I can figure out what the hell this means. I hate when people make noise during my readings. I guess being a musician and a tarot reader is not like the tea. Um, they don't. They feel like there's nobody else like you. Like you're the only option. But this is somebody who has lived the life of. They let me see something. These people are distracted the hell out of me. I might change where y'all read and start, honey. I'm so sorry. Who is coming towards Sagittarius this weekend? Maybe an Aries or an older male. Pisces energy is here too. This is somebody you stepped away from. Or this person has stepped away from you. Y'all, there was a pause between you two. Because it was like a question of whether... It's like, if I come back there, am I going to be wasting my time? So somebody made... Somebody was trying to make a decision. But there's disappointment. There could have been some conflict around love that made you two not... Like, that had you two not talking for a while. It's the same cards that's coming out, though. Maybe the reading's just confusing. I'm sorry, I said I'm so thirsty. Would I be wasting my time coming back to Sag? That's the question. The Sag don't seem to want this. So somebody's feeling like they missed out with you. But they're still holding on to you in their emotions. What they want, though? I don't know. There's the five of pentacles here. Oh, was you the one that did wrong, Sagittarius? They may want to leave if they're what they found out. What's this? They may let this go. But they're feeling bad. But they need to tell you how they're feeling if this is the way that it goes. You know what I mean? If this, if, it, if it's coming your way, then they need to tell you how they feel. Oh, you need to you need to tell this person how they made you feel, Sagittarius. I mean, you could be the type, but they could be the type to not take rejection well. And somebody here ended up either left out in the cold or um, they walked out on their own. And you need to keep going. Because if it don't feel right, then nine times out of ten it ain't. Read the room, Sagittarius. Now, it could be them. Like I said, this could be an Aries that you were dealing with who's not ready for what it is that y'all was working on because they already had somebody in their life. It's going to be way less painful for you to let go now. Okay? This person could also be focused elsewhere, like school, work, this and that. You don't have to be there, Sagittarius. We got double Scorpio energy and Capricorn energy here as well. You don't have to be there. Your presence isn't required. I think I just said that to Libra or somebody. Your presence isn't required in the situation, especially if you find out somebody doing you wrong. So the advice is the Ten of Wands in the reverse. You don't have to be there if you don't want to. Stand up for yourself, Seven of Wands. Thinking that is a card. I dropped a card on the floor. It was my hotel key. All right, Capricorn. 
It was 4444 when I said that, so I'm going to put that for your timestamp cap. What's going on with Capricorn this weekend? Who's coming towards them? What do they want? Any advice? Could be another um, Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Taurus in particular. Why is King of Pentacles here? So if y'all weren't talking, they want to talk. Because they want you. King of Wands. And they got their eye on you. Oh, you two can have a family together. But your relationship is messed up. Now we got the king and the queen. Y'all could be married, honey. What's the energy between the two of you? You both have left each other out in the cold. But you both want to be back together. You both want to talk. But you're not giving each other enough to work with. But you want it to be successful? We need to address some shit, Capricorn. <laughs> How you both abandon each other. You both want to be together. You both ain't giving each other enough to work with. You want it to be successful. We need to address something. There's something that should have been addressed a long time ago. So what this person wants to do, honey? Seven of Swords in reverse. Maybe they want to go ahead and address whatever it is. Oh, I feel like this is the clearest reading that I've had throughout this whole thing. This part, it could be a Gemini, um, Taurus, Libra. Oh, it's a King of Swords in the reverse. Ooh. Oh, it's the Empress here. So somebody want to open up, right? Gem Perhaps I don't want to be alone. <laughs> somebody doesn't know what they want. They want, as soon as I said, because somebody, okay, there's another person here, uh, Capricorn. Could be Aries or Sagittarius. Somebody's at a crossroads, okay? Oh! How many people... Are you involved with? We got we got too many people here. Capricorn, there's too many. This on me. My sweater is like I almost said linting, peeling, or whatever is done. It's leaving lint everywhere. Seven of Swords. It's almost like I don't trust you, but I I want I want to love you again. Well, ever since I walked away, I've wanted this. Pisces energy is here. Gemini. Cancer, uh, Capricorn, Scorpio, not Cancer. Cancer's energy is not here. This person may be determined to have you, but they're very impulsive. That's why this shit ain't working. You don't have to be there for that. Until somebody can grow up or learn or learn whatever, whatever this is, Capricorn, you don't have to be there for, for it. You really don't. Advice. 
You don't have to be there. Stop waiting for this situation, Capricorn. This person is guarding something that they keep going back to. What is it? Somebody could be going back to a family. They could be going between a family and, a, and a, another situation. But I saw a whole lot of people. Okay. There's passion. There's a marriage here that lacks romance. There's reconciliation here. And maybe you two would not be separated for very long. But somebody wasn't paying attention to the red flags. A whole bunch of stuff popped out there. A whole bunch of stuff popped out there. We'll get into it in your, mind, in your next reading. Aquarius. Let me get done with this reading. Because they're getting my damn nerves up there. I swear. I got the window all the way closed. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Who's coming towards Aquarius this weekend? What do they want? And advice. Come on, the nine of cups. Somebody may want you. No, 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 no. This could be someone that you gave up on. We could have let things end with this person. Why? Why not alone? Okay, because there was somebody else. And things was moving too slow. Yeah, so this could be somebody who blocked you. Or who's guarded against you. Yeah, this was a case of un unrequited love, whoever this person is connected, uh, whoever this is for you. What they want. I don't know if they want to hold on to you. Or not talk to you. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Somebody may want to open up to you, but they they they're more in their head about it right now. I, I, why do I feel like this reading is the other way around? They're different. Whoever this is is very emotionally withdrawn. They could also be mad at you. Ah, why is there so many men here? There's too many women and there's too many men. <laughs> Are these several relationships? That could have been the reason for for the um, the Ten of Cups in the reverse, Two of Cups in the reverse. This truth that came out about somebody. It's too many people in this reading. Why are there so many um, kings in this reading? All four kings are here. Why? I'll deal with a who. Are you going to decide to drop out of the race? <laughs> they want to hold on to you and everybody else too. Oh. Y'all was the players before Aquarius. So somebody in your region has been a player for quite some time. Okay. Your advice. Question everything. Keep your distance. 
Make sure that you have clarity before you move forward, okay? With this um, connection, because somebody is exploring other options. Somebody is not sitting like a bump on the wall. That's why they're not giving a whole lot to this. Nineteen could be significant for some of you. Oh, you could be born on nineteen. Somebody's looking for a chase, a challenge, you know. Some of you could be January, Aquarius, uh, August is here too. Leo, who else is in August? Who else is born in August? Leo and Virgo. Ooh. We got Pisces energy here. Taurus, Scorpio. Make sure you're using condoms, you guys, this weekend. Somebody's got a, a nice mouthpiece. They got the gift of gab, but I don't know if they thing thing is clean, okay? So be careful. Any other messages for Aquarius? Ooh, somebody got sticky fingers too. Be careful. Quick to anger. Taurus energy again. Double Taurus. But if you knew, if you knew better, then you wouldn't have got yourself involved in this, right? Right. So don't feel bad. This is somebody who is very dependent on other people's energy, okay? Just be careful. We have soulmate in the reverse. Be careful. Pisces. On Pisces this weekend. Who's coming? What do they want? Advice. Who's coming? They still want to fight for this happiness, honey. Fire sign. I, I, I rolled my eyes because I was like, ooh, they hurt you already. But they, they, they still want it. They want it so bad. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Six of Wands. Please, baby, please. <laughs> what they want to do? I feel so much regret. I'm so hooked on you. They want to fight for this. Why are they regretful? What happened between y'all in the past? They're looking back at why things ended. And as they sit alone, they're waiting for you to come back. The devil card. But you walked away because because it was through merch. Could have been a Leo. We got Leo, um, Capricorn. They were keeping a lot of stuff in the dark that got the ass kicked out of your life, too. The things that may have been unearthed in this relationship are the reason why you won't commit to it. Like, if you really thought about it logically, if I really analyzed the situation, like, you're not shit, bro. <laughs> so, your advice. It could be a fire sign that you were dealing with, but this person' energy is very shitty. And um, like I said, they've already done you wrong. Move on with your life, Pisces. Heal from this Leo or whoever this was that that was that just sucked you dry, honey. Heal from this person. Anything else for Pisces? Oh shit, where did this start? I forgot where it started. I feel like you really do love this person. I feel like you really do love them. Oh, come on. That's too many thoughts. But at the same time, you like, mm -mm, I got your number, Phil. I got your number. And I know you're probably just rebounding anyway. Make sure you don't rebound this weekend. And if you do, let the person know you rebounded. See how that turns out. 
<laughs> you know what? I've been super like after I got my heart broke this last time. The next person I got involved with, I was like, "Yo, what? Let's just check this out. What would happen if we kept it all the way real with each other? What ha- what would happen? Like you tell me about who you dealing with, I tell you about who I'm dealing with. Um, anything that would directly affect you or I, we talk about. It. It's on the table. We talk about. It. Let's fuck it. Excuse me. Let's do it. And." strangely what started off as a fling and I mean like a fling okay it was it was just nothing but sexual energy there started to develop because we were so open and transparent with each other it's kind of like we both learned how to um first of all deal with each other's truth because it ain't easy. I mean, no matter how gangster you think you are, okay, if you start caring about somebody on the low, then they tell you, I mean, yeah, I did. I mean, I did go out last weekend and and something did happen. And then you might tell them the same thing and y'all both have to... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, we good, we good, we good, we good. Because we're being total, total honest with each other and i feel like it helped both of us to grow up in a way that we didn't even know was possible and it also made us realize damn all everybody we've been with been lying to us <laughs> i swear everybody you've been with been lying to you because no, I'm just playing it. not everybody but i'm just saying like it really it, it's it's a new experience to 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 do this because we both were kind of coming out of something and both you know really wasn't the time to hop back into another relationship but we both had needs it is what it is but just try that this next time good things fall apart so better things can fall together you two ain't vibing the same no more there's love here it's unconditional but at this point it feels forced they act like they don't want it but they do but they need to heal. They're not ready for what they're building with you, okay? So you need to run away. Your body responds to the lies that they tell, right? Uh, it reacts to the lies that they tell, right? The next thing you get in, Pisces, not to say that you've ever been a liar or anything like that, but just try it. What about this? I know a lot of women are very insecure. I know a lot of men are very insecure and you feel like you have to lie to them in order to protect their feelings. But let's just try something. Right? And I feel like Pisces would be really good at this. That's why people like literally change their their DNA changes after they mess with Pisces. Look at Erica Badu's people. Hell, if y'all knew me. (laughs) Because I'm a Pisces. What is it? Rising and Venus in Venus astrology and I get it. All right. Um, but give people the liberty that they so love to have. And see how loyal they ass becomes. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I love you guys. Um, like, share, and subscribe. I'm tired as a dog. If you would like a personal reading, um, check the description box for that. If you'd like to donate, you can hit the thanks button below or you can find my PayPal information in the comment section. I love you. Ciao.